Unit 7. Straight. Do you go straight home after school? No, I don't always go straight home after school. Where else do you go on the way? I sometimes go shopping. When you go to the doctor, do they usually see you straight away? No, they don't usually see me straight away. Do you do the washing up straight after dinner? I try to. Do you ever go straight to bed when you get home? Yes, sometimes. Why? Because I'm so tired after studying English. Right. What's right in the middle of your face? My nose is right in the middle of my face. Would you get a good view right at the back of the stadium? No, you wouldn't get a good view right at the back of a stadium. Where would you prefer to be? I'd prefer to be somewhere near the front. What's right at the top of this building? The roof garden is right at the top of this building. Would you like to live right next to a pub? Yes, I'd love to live right next to a pub. Why? Because I could go there every day. Do you like films where you don't find out what's happened till right at the end? Yes, I do. Have you ever had an embarrassing moment right in front of lots of people? Yes, I split my trousers once. Did you feel like crying? Yes, I wanted the ground to open up and swallow me. To turn. To turn back. Is it easier to turn left or right at a crossroads in this country? It's easier to turn left at a crossroads in this country because we drive on the left. What machines have parts that turn? Washing machines have parts that turn. What do you do when you have read to the bottom of the page? When I've read to the bottom of a page, I turn over. Have you ever started a long journey and had to turn back? Yes, I have. What had you forgotten? I'd forgotten my wallet. What food has to be turned over while it's being cooked? Bacon has to be turned over while it's being cooked. Why would someone keep turning over in bed? Someone would keep turning over in bed because they couldn't sleep. Have you ever turned your back on someone? Yes, I have. What have they done to deserve it? They were really rude to me. To face. To turn around. Does your sofa face the TV? Yes, it does. If I turn around, what will I be facing? If you turn around, you'll be facing the wall. Does it bother you if you face backwards on a train? Yes, it does bother me. I feel sick. Give me an example of something you might turn around to face you. I might turn a newspaper around to face me. To face a problem. What important decisions do people have to face as they get older? People have to decide whether they will get married or have children. Are you facing any big decisions in the near future? Yes, I'm facing the problem of shall I go back to my country or not? In what situations do people find it difficult to face their parents? People find it difficult to face their parents if they want to borrow a large amount of money. Are you willing to give most kinds of food a try? Yes, I am. Is there anything you couldn't face? I suppose I couldn't really face eating snake. Way. How do emergency vehicles warn other traffic to get out of the way? Emergency vehicles warn other traffic to get out of the way by flashing their lights and using a siren. If I left my bicycle outside the classroom, would it be in the way? Yes, it would be in the way. Where could I put it so that it would be out of the way? You could put it on the roof. Would you park in the middle of the road? No, I wouldn't park in the middle of the road. Why not? Because my car would be in the way. What's the best thing to say to someone who's standing in your way? The best thing to say to someone who's standing in your way is just, excuse me. What's the quickest way out of this building in an emergency? The quickest way out of this building in an emergency is up the fire escape. Why should you look both ways before crossing the road? Because you might get run over. Do children have to learn that they can't always get their own way? Yes, they do. What's the best way to teach them? I think the best way to teach them is by not always giving them what they want. Which person usually gets their own way in your family? My sister usually gets her own way. How does she do it? She flutters her eyelashes. Directions. How can I? Do you get to? Where do you live? I live in Kensal Green. How do you get there? I get there by tube. Ask for directions to his house. Hi, Jorge. How can I get to your house? Do you know the way now? Yes, I think so. To sort. To sort something out. How are names in an address book sorted? Names in an address book are sorted in alphabetical order. When you go on holiday, do you sort out accommodation before you go? Yes, but not always. Have you ever had to sort out something that was in total chaos? No, I haven't. If you're having problems at work, 
Can you usually sort them out on your own? Yes, usually. What if you couldn't? I would ask the boss for some help. Have you ever fallen out with a friend? Yes, I have. Over what? Usually over money. Did you sort it out eventually? Yes, eventually. Tell if, whether. Tell the difference. Can you tell the difference between an Australian and an English accent? Yes, I can tell the difference. What about Scottish and English? No, that's more difficult. Can you tell the difference between these things just from the taste? Butter and margarine? Yes, I can. Whole milk and skimmed milk? No, not really. Pepsi and Coke? Definitely. Good quality wine and cheap plonk? I find that quite difficult to tell the difference. Can you tell if someone is intelligent just by looking at them? No, I can't. How can you tell when someone's lying? You can tell when someone is lying because they don't look you in the eye. Do you think I'm in a good mood today? Yes, I do. How can you tell? Because you're smiling a lot. When you speak English, do people realise you're foreign? Yes, they do. How can they tell? Because of my accent. Upside down, inside out, right way up, back to front. What's wrong with the way I'm holding this book? It's upside down. Is it the right way up now? Yes. How can you tell if someone's got their jumper on inside out? You can tell if someone's got their jumper on inside out because you can see the label. What about back to front? It just looks strange. Have you ever gone out wearing something inside out? Yes, my t-shirt. How long did it take you to realise? Just a few minutes. The other way round. The wrong way round. Am I holding this pen the right way round? No, you're not. And now? Yes, now it's the right way round. Does July come before June? No, it's the other way round. Great Britain is part of England, isn't it? No, it's the other way round. England is part of Great Britain. Do parents usually look after children? Yes, they do. Is it ever the other way round? Yes, sometimes. Blame. To hold someone responsible. Who would you blame if your English wasn't improving? I'd blame my teacher if my English wasn't improving. Have you ever got the blame for something? Yes, I have. Had you done anything to deserve it? Yes, I spilt red wine on the carpet. Who got the blame for killing President Kennedy? Lee Harvey Oswald got the blame for killing President Kennedy. Is there any doubt that he actually did it? I don't think so. Do you have other suspicions? No, not really. Have you ever let someone else take the blame for something you did? Yes, I let my sister take the blame for crashing the car. Why didn't you own up? Because I'd already crashed the car once. Who do you think should be held responsible for teenage crime? That's a difficult question, but I think the parents. The hole in the ozone layer. Everybody. Do you think there are some problems that the government can't be held responsible for? Yes. I don't think the government can be held responsible for binge drinking. Fault. Have you ever damaged a car? Yes, I have. Whose fault was it? Mine, unfortunately. If you get a bad hangover, is it your own fault? Yes, usually. Have you ever failed an exam? Yes, once. Do you think it was your own fault? Yes, I didn't study hard enough. Do you know anyone with children who are difficult to handle? Yes, I do. Do you think it's their parents' fault? That's difficult, but I don't think so. Have you ever blamed someone for something, even though you knew it wasn't their fault? Yes, I tried to blame my sister when I spilt red wine on the carpet. If someone breaks the law without realising it, is it still their fault? No, I don't think it is. Fault. Faulty. Have you ever bought something that was faulty? Yes, my watch. What was wrong with it? It just kept stopping all the time. What kinds of fault are common with cars? You often have problems with the steering. Telephones? Telephones often have a bad line. Computers? Computers sometimes crash. Are people aware of their own faults? Yes, I think they are. What's your worst fault? I'm a little bit lazy. Tell me someone you like despite their faults. I like the Prime Minister, Gordon Brown. What is it about them that gets on your nerves? He's a little bit boring sometimes. To find something interesting, boring, annoying, difficult. Do you find politics interesting? No, I don't find politics interesting at all. What do you find more interesting? Football. Do you find music relaxing? Yes, I do. Which music in particular? I find jazz music really relaxing. Give me an example of a game you find easy to play. I find tennis easy to play. Give me an example of something you find difficult to do. I find it really difficult to get up early. Have you seen TV programmes where they play tricks to wind people up? Yes, I have. Do you find them funny? Yes, really funny. Which adverts do you find funny? I find the advert with the monkey on the bicycle really funny.
completely unfunny. The one where there is a bank manager and he keeps saying, we don't do that. Annoying. The personal loan adverts are really annoying. To find it interesting, boring, annoying. When, if. Would you find it amusing if I fell off my chair? Yes, I would. What if I hurt myself? Uh, maybe not then. What annoying things can happen on the bus or train? It's annoying when people play their music really loudly. In restaurants? If you are short-changed. In shops? If you have to queue a long time to be served. To cheer up. Cheerful. Dull. Exciting. Do you find studying dull? Sometimes. How can you make it more exciting? You can make it more exciting by watching DVDs in English. What's the most exciting thing that's ever happened to you? The most exciting thing that's ever happened to me was when I won £100 on the lottery. Do you know anyone who always seems to be cheerful? Yes, you always seem to be cheerful. Have you ever cheered up someone who was feeling sad? Yes, I have cheered up someone who was feeling sad. Who can really cheer you up when you're unhappy? My best friend can really cheer me up. What is it that they do? They take me to the pub, buy me a pint and we drown our sorrows. To gain. Gain. Would you work for free just to gain experience? Yes, but it depends on the job. What kind of things help you gain confidence at work? I think success helps you gain confidence at work. What can have the opposite effect? Failure. What is one of the most interesting things you have ever done? One of the most interesting things I've ever done was when I went on a tour of Southeast Asia. Do you think you gained from the experience? Yes, definitely. It gave me a greater understanding of a different culture. How do people try to gain an unfair advantage in sport? People try to gain an unfair advantage in sport by cheating. Do you think people gain more from being honest and telling lies? I think in the long term people definitely gain more from being honest.